Welcome to the project demonstration of autonomous robots uh, with uh, ultrasonic sensor and Bluetooth controlling. So here the main application of this project is uh, when we switch on the kit, the automatically system will start moving and if any obstacle detected, it will stop there and provide us the audible alert through this buzzer and also light indication through this LED. And also we can control the same time the robot can be controlled through the Bluetooth uh, using HC05 or using through the mobile phone. So from the mobile phone directly we can control the direction of this robotic vehicle using this configured buttons we have already configured them in application. So the main processor in this project is Raspberry Pi 0 2W. We have interfaced the input modules like ultrasonic sensor H pin number 2324 and the next pin number 18 10 11 pins uh, 10 11 12 pins for the L298 motor driver and pin number 5 uh, for the buzzer 6 for this LED indication and uh, this is a Pi 0 W which will come with uh, 30, uh, 32 GB class 10 uh, memory card which will uh, install the Raspbian operating system initially and then we will provide the Python coding which will taking care of input and output modules. So ultrasonic sensor HC05 are the input modules, LED indicator, buzzer and L298 motor driver are the output modules. So the whole the system getting power supply from this 12 volt 1.5 ampere battery pack. So here we can see the three batteries are connected in series. So we will get 12 volt 1.5 ampere. Each battery is a 4 volt 1.5 ampere which is rechargeable battery. In order to recharge this battery we are going to providing this charging circuit along with the transformer. Provide 230 volts AC input to this transformer cable and connect the battery at this B slots. T for the transformer slots and on the power supply to this transformer it will get fully charged in a duration of 4 to 5 hours till the duration we will keep this battery under charging and after that you can disconnect this so before demonstration first step is we need to keep the battery under full charge and the operating voltage of our sensors and the raspberry pi 0 to double is a 5 volts in order to uh, regulate that 12 volts to 5 volts we are making using of this LM2596 uh, voltage regulator. So the main components are LM2 uh, battery pack, LM2596 voltage regulator, L298 motor driver, Raspberry Pi 0 to W, ultrasonic sensor SR04, buzzer, piezo buzzer and LED indication along with HC05 Bluetooth module and this is the breadboard to distribute the 5 volts power supply throughout the modules. So let us do a demonstration. So as we discussed, first keep the battery under full charge. Next install this serial Bluetooth terminal application from the Play Store. And uh, next initially we need to pair uh, to the system through this Bluetooth settings in our mobile phone. That is the pair devices. Can unpair this initially. Yeah, so it should be there in our history. Otherwise, you can just unpair that for demonstration purpose. I am unpairing this. Right. So now, on the power supply to this. After installing the application, on the power supply. So let us wait till the Raspberry Pi will booting successfully. So successfully booting, the system will start automatically. The robot will start moving in a forward direction. Right, you can see that the system is moving in a forward direction and now meanwhile go to your Bluetooth settings of your phone and connect to the HC05. So you will ask for the password as 1234 is the password. So after pairing from the settings then directly go to the application. Next time directly you can go to the application. So if any obstacle detects in front of this robot movement automatically stops and provide us the audible alerts along with any indication. Now. So we can from now onwards it will be under controlling. <coughs> so I need to pair to devices. Yeah, right. So after successfully pairing from this one, we can see the continuously the distance on your phone. And next, forward. So the system will move forward. Stop. So let us see on the floor. Let us see that. It's a forward motion, backward, stop, left, right, stop. So if the system is moving in direction, 